we absorb facts, information, and skills. We get our theoretical and practical understanding through education and experience. It's called Knowledge. Welcome to Northeast Michigan's high school quiz show, Knowledge Bowl. Let's join two of our 14 competing high schools in their quest for knowledge. And now your host, Joe Rabarczyk. Hello and welcome to the 2017-2018 season of Knowledge Bowl. My name is Joseph Rabarczyk and it's my pleasure to be your moderator for Northeast Michigan's longest running high school quiz show. And today we are joined by teams from Mayo Asabel on my left and Ross Common on my right. And before we begin our game today, let's hear introductions from both teams and we'll begin with the team captain of Ross Common. Jesse Watkins, senior. Michael Fitzai, junior. Trey Helene, junior. Dane Switz, junior. Riley McNamara, junior. Sean Witherspoon, senior. And they're joined by their team coach, Jim Perialis. Thank you. And now let's head over to Milo Asabo. Uh, Tommy Gilbreth, senior. Caleb Clover, senior. Lauren Kufel, junior. Nathan Sosha, senior. Andrew Hager, senior. And they're joined by their team coach, Jay Jackson. Thanks for joining us today. I also want to thank our judges today, uh, Matthew Fitzpatrick and Dylan Arthur. All right, and before we begin our game, here are the rules. Round one is a toss-up format. A question will be asked, and the first competitor to ring in has the opportunity to answer the question. If a correct answer is given, the team is awarded 10 points. No consulting is allowed. If the answer is incorrect, then the question goes to the opposing team to answer. All right, so let's begin our first round, which is a toss-up round. This company revolutionized working conditions in the U.S. workplace by introducing the eight-hour day, the five-day week. Ford Manufacturing. Yeah, I'll give that to you. Yeah, the Ford, Ford Motor Company. Yep, that's correct. Which of the following was not discovered by accident? Teflon, the Dead Sea Scrolls, penicillin, or polio vaccine? Uh, Jesse. Teflon. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Anyone from Mayo Asabel? Uh, Tommy. Uh, the polio vaccine. That's right, polio vaccine. All human beings begin life swimming in a fluid resembling salt water in their mother's wombs. What is this fluid called? Placenta. No, I'm sorry. Uh, anyone from Mayo Asabel? Okay, that is the amniotic fluid. The, es the eccentricity of any ellipse is always specified by a value between what two numbers? Uh, Michael. Zero and one. Zero and one, right. Define and spell drivel. That's silly or foolish talk. It's spelled D-R-I-V-E-L. Although most of the members of the mid-1970s Southern rock group Leonard Skinnerd were born in Florida, their most famous song is about what other sweet home Southern state? Alabama. Dane, Alabama, that's right. It is believed that medieval women did what to their eyebrows in imitation of classical sculpture? Dane. Shaved. No, sorry. Anyone from Mayo Asabel? Uh, Tommy. Pluck, then. P pluck, that's right. For about 900 years, Christians have observed Trinity Sunday a week after what feast of the Holy Spirit? That's Pentecost. Roger, Roger Bannister broke the four-minute barrier in 1954. Steve Cram managed three minutes and 46 seconds in 1985. What sporting event are we talking about? Dane. Track. Uh, judges on that one? Or? Yeah, a little more specific. Uh, track and field, one mile. Yeah, we got the one-mile run. Yep, that's right. Okay. <clears throat> in 1948, Sri Lanka, then called Ceylon, gained its independence from what nation? Uh, 
Tommy. Uh, India. No, sorry. Ross Common. That is Great Britain. I want you to name the Conference of European Powers that met to settle political and territorial questions arising from the Napoleonic Wars. That is the Congress of Vienna. What five-syllable term is used in physics when there seems to be no time between a cause and its effect as the striking and ringing of a bell? Uh, that's uh, Trey. Oh, sorry, Michael. Instantaneous. Instantaneous, right. Simultaneous would also work. The Russo-Japanese War of 1904 to 05 began with a surpri surprise naval attack on the Russian base at what port? That's Port Arthur. Arrange these army designations in order of size, starting with the largest. Corps, company, division, and regiment. Uh, Dane. Division, company, corps, regiment. I'm sorry. Nope. Anyone from Iowa Sobel? Nathan? Corps, division, company, regiment. Sorry. It's uh, Corps Division Regiment Company. All right, that's going to do it for our first, uh, our, our first round. We'll be right back with our second round right after the break. Welcome back. We have some scores for you. So far, Mayo Asabel is at 30 points, and Ross Common is at 40 points. Now we're going to move into our second round, which is a bonus round. But before we do that, here's how it works. This is the bonus round. It consists of toss-up questions, as in round one. However, this is the twist. The team answering correctly then gets four bonus questions. For each question answered correctly, a series of points will be awarded. Team members can consult, but only the team captain can answer the question. After an incorrect answer, the toss-up portion begins again for both teams. All right, so let's jump into our bonus round now, and we'll start off with some toss-up questions. Shelley defined poetry as the record of the best and happiest moments of the best and happiest minds. Who defined poetry as the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings recalled in tranquility? Uh, Tommy. Mark Twain. No, sorry. Anyone from Roscommon? Uh, Michael. Shakespeare. Sorry. It's uh, Wordsworth, actually. In this short story by Hawthorne, several people in a cottage discuss their greatest wishes. Unfortunately, that night they are all killed by an avalanche. Name the story. That is called The Ambitious Guest. After World War I, many of the young adults of Europe and America were disillusioned with the world in general and unwilling to move into a settled life. Therefore, therefore, what were they called? Uh, Lauren. Gypsies. No, sorry. Last comment, anyone? The Lost Generation. That is right, The Lost Generation. So now we'll go to bonus questions for Ross Common. The topic is, in what state did each of the following battles of early American history take place? Fort Ticonderoga. Oh, sorry, that is uh, New York. Back to the toss-up questions. I'm going to quit smoking as a favorite New Year's resolution. Who is it that said, there is nothing to quitting smoking? I've done it hundreds of times. Mark Twain. That's right, Mark Twain. So back to the bonus questions and bodies of water is the topic. According to Herodotus, Egypt is the gift of what? The Nile. The Nile, right. 
What artificial seaway enables ocean-going ships to sail all the way to the western end of Lake Superior? The Erie Canal. No, sorry. It's the St. Lawrence. Saint Lawrence. Okay, back to toss-up questions now. In a certain state, the weekly benefit that a person can receive is 1 26th of the amount he earned during the best three-month period of the previous year. Now, if during the previous year, Robert's best quarterly earnings were $2,680, how much might he receive as a weekly benefit? The answer is $103.08. The Tempest by Shakespeare is sometimes called a comedy, but also it's called a what? Uh, Tommy. A tragedy. No, sorry. Roscommon, anyone? Michael? A satire. No, sorry. Romance. What mistress of Louis the Sixteenth was executed with him in 1793? Uh, Trey? Or Michael, sorry. Marie Antoinette? No, I'm sorry. Is anyone from Miles Oval? It's actually Madame du Barry. Match these rock films with their bands. The films are Quadrophenia, Gimme Shelter, Stop Making Sense, Magical Mystery Tour. The bands, Beatles, Rolling Stones, Talking Heads, and The Who. All right, well, it's... Quadrophenia is The Who, Gimme Shelter is The Rolling Stones, Stop Making Sense is Talking Heads, and Magical Mystery Tour is The Beatles. If Fx equals sine x plus cosine 2x, then F pi equals what? Michael. Sine of pi plus cosine 2 of pi. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, Caleb. 1. 1 is right, yes. Okay, so we'll go over to the bonus questions now. And the topic is math. The area of a circle is represented by 16 pi. What is the length of a diameter of the circle? All right, and the answer is eight. Okay, back to toss up questions. Chaucer wrote in 1386, and lightly as it cometh, so will we spend. From this cliche, we now say what? The answer is easy come, easy go. And that's going to do it for our bonus round. We'll be right back with some scores and for our 60 second round. Hello and welcome back. We have some Updated scores for you. Right now, Mayo Asabel is at 40 points and Ross Common is at 65 points. Also, want to introduce an alternate player on uh, Mayo Asabel's team. Welcome, Andrew, to the game. Thank you. And before we begin our 60 second round, here is how it works. This is our 60 second round. The team with the lowest score selects from one of the four categories of 10 questions. The team that has 60 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Any missed questions will then be answered by the opposing team. An additional 20 point bonus is awarded for answering all 10 questions correctly. Okay, so let's begin our 60 second round and we're gonna start with Mayo Asabel. 
And your topic today is also a man's name. The title of the administrator just below a college president. Dean. Oh, Dean. Correct. A small cut while shaving. A neck. Correct. A unit of biochemical inheritance. Gene. 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 Correct. The British title that ranks below a marquee. Duke. Sorry. It would be of use in fixing a flat tire. A jack. Correct. It goes through probate. Yes. An invoice. Bill. Oh, Bill. Correct. <laughs> what do you do for apples in a traditional Halloween game? Bob. Bob. Correct. A cut of beef. Chuck. A chuck. Correct. Ooh, this nickname reminds you of Rubens, Rodin, and Ren Ren Renoir. Sorry. Pass. Okay, it goes through probate. Okay, so any past or missed questions will now go over to Ross Common. I, I repeat, it goes through probate. Pass. Okay, the answer is will. And then the other is this nickname reminds you of Rubens, Rodin, and Renoir. No answer there. All right, that is art. Okay, so now we'll go over to Ross Common, and your topic today is science. Stairs are an example of which simple machine? Slope. Slope. Sorry. Total resistance to a disease is called what? Immunity. Immunity. Correct. The most frequently used chemical to kill microbes in a swimming pool? Chlorine. 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 Correct. When you move, muscles bunch up and get smaller in what process? Pass. Something put in food to improve flavor or appearance is called what? Pass. Pass. An additive that keeps food from spoiling quickly is called what? Preservative. Preservative. Correct. Describe plant respiration in terms of CO2 and oxygen. CO2 is turned into oxygen. CO2 is turned into oxygen? Uh. Correct. It reacts. Burners on electric stoves are what circuit element that hinder current? Conductor. That hinder? Hinder. Insulator. Um, insulator. Sorry. What measure equals 0 0.3066 parsecs or 60? <laughs> All right, so any past or missed questions will then go over to Maya Wasabu. Stairs are an example of which simple machine? An inclined plant. That's right, yep. When you move, muscles bunch up and get smaller in what process? Contraction. Contraction, that's right. <laughs> Something put in food to improve flavor or appearance is called what? An additive. Additive, that's right. Burners on electric stoves are what circuit elements that hinder current? Mm. Oh, pass. Okay, that is resistors. Okay, and that's going to do it for our 60-second round. We'll be right back with some updated scores and for our final round. Welcome back. We have some updated scores for you. Right now, Mayo Asabel is at 140 points, and Ross Common is at 115. Now we're going to move into our final round, and it's the same as the first round. It's another toss-up round, so let's just begin. What is the seven-letter name for one of the sequential productions that make up a television series? Tommy. An episode? Episode, right. The terms God bless you or Gesundheit are based on medieval superstition. What is that superstition? Tommy. That your sneeze, when you sneezed, you were losing part of your soul. Uh, sorry. That when, you, that when you sneeze, the devil tries to take control of you. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, it's, it's that you're sneezing, you're sneezing out evil spirits, actually. So. <laughs> What is the standard color of the foul pole in Major League Baseball? Uh, Trey? Yellow. Yellow, that's right. A small electronic device is sometimes implanted in the chest of patients with heart problems. Dane? Pacemaker. Pacemaker, right. Define and spell indigenous. Uh, Dane? 
Uh, indigenous is uh, native, and it's I N D I G E N O U S. Correct. Yeah. After being killed by a wild boar, he spent half of his time in the underworld and half in the upper world so he could be with both Persephone and Aphrodite. Name this beautiful young man of Greek myth. Uh, Jesse. Paris. Sorry. Maya Wasabo, anyone? It is Adonis. St. Augustine, Florida is the oldest settlement of the American mainland. Give me the year in which it was founded. I'll give you, I'll give you 10 years leeway either way. Tommy. Uh, 1568. Yep, that's close enough. 1565, actually. If you should ever send a letter to someone in Malta, it is polite and proper to write that country's name as Malta GC. That GC stands for what military decoration awarded to the whole country during World War II? Tommy. Um, the Golden Cross. Sorry. Ross Common, anyone? It's actually George's Cross. What Native American ritual was supposed to bring back dead Native heroes and make whites disappear? The ghost dance. Relative to their diets, what do the Everglades, kite, the giant panda, the koala, and the anteater have in common? Uh, Andrew. The eucalyptus. Uh, no, sorry. Last comment, anyone? Uh, Michael? They're all herbivores. Nope, sorry. Um, it's actually that they're very selective eaters. So kites only eat snails, pandas eat mostly bamboo, koalas eat only eucalyptus, and anteaters eat ants and termites. At the time of his death, George Washington held what military rank, then the country's highest? Jesse. Oh, sorry, Michael. General and then president. No, sorry. Uh, Maya Wasabo? Tommy? President general. No, sorry, actually. <laughs> uh, lieutenant general. <clears throat> a person who sells men's hats is called a haberdasher. What is a person who designs or sells women's hats called? A milliner. What rival South American liberators met in 1782? That is Bolivar and San Martin. After the meeting, San Martin left South America. Name any three of the four largest cities in the Republic of South Africa. Could be Cape Town, Durban, Johannesburg, or Pretoria. A weekly newspaper entitled The Liberator, published by William Lloyd Garrison, ceased publication after the passage of what amendment to the U.S. Constitution? Dane. The 21st. No, sorry. Maya Wasabel? Tommy? The 23rd. No, sorry, it's actually the 13th, which is the one that abolished slavery. Polish pianist, composer, and statesman Ignis Jan Paderski headed Polish government in 1919 and 1940 to 41 in exile. He died while in the United States to plead Poland's cause. What is his best known musical composition? That is the minuet in G for piano. And that's going to do it for our final round. We'll be right back with the final scores. Welcome back. We have the final scores for today's game. Uh, Maya Wasabel ended the game with 160 and Ross Common with 145. So congratulations, Maya Wasabel, on your win today. 
And next time, Roscommon will be back uh, and go up against Aw Gray. Of course, I want to leave you with a quote by the great philosopher Plato who said, knowledge is the food of the soul. So remember, stay hungry, my friends.